Hey, this is Anthony Threadzilla. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Airframe D1 jacket available at Revzilla.com. This is the new for spring of 17 Dionese Airframe, the D1. That's the evolution of the previous Dionese Airframe we saw come out in 2012. Right out of the gates, we're a fan, and we're a fan for a few different reasons. The first reason is it's a bit more sporty, a little bit more classic Dionese. It's a restyle. The previous version was kind of sitting in between on the bike, off the bike, sport touring, didn't know what it wanted to be when it grows up. This is emphatically Dionese. Big classic strip logo across the chest. The color blocking really works. Four colors available. Again, they're just being more concrete in their decision making. The other thing I really like about this jacket, remember two season hot weather mesh with a removable windproof liner. Classic sports styling. The previous version came in closer to the $300 mark. This is gonna be around the $250 mark. So again, they've made some refinements. We're able to actually bring the cost down, which anytime we see that, it makes it more accessible. Again, to the everyday rider, that is a plus in our book. If we look at the jacket, CE composite rated armor, Dionese 3D mesh in the chest along the arms, you'll see it in the back, tremendous airflow. Remember, think late spring, all summer, early fall, that's really where the airframe D1's going to play. Quick note on sizing, Seabass, Brian, to my left. Yes, yeah, Seabass, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. So classic sport fit from Dionese, not overly aggressive, not overly touring. Again, you can see how it sits his frame. He's a bit of an athletic build. And when we think about that, use the size chart, no surprise is there. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks, but I'd really love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Dionese Airframe D1. Now, if we take a step into some of the other nuanced changes, and again, they have made some steps forward outside of just the color blocking and styling. What I like is that they've changed the collar, or they've changed the cuff rather. If we look at this cuff, neoprene cuff, they didn't have it before with an auto locking zip. So again, they've streamlined, simplified, and made the cuffs much more usable. They've also added a forearm adjuster snap, so if you're pulling out that windbreaker, you have a little bit of extra material, you can cinch it down. Also, still going to have that snap up here along the biceps for adjustability as well. The other thing to note, Brian, I'm gonna turn and face you away from me so you can get a shot of it from the side here. Up here around the collar, you're going to see it's leather rolled. It was not previously, it adds a bit of a comfort feature there. So again, neoprene at the cuffs, Comfort leather rolling at the collar, again, just making it more functional, more usable, more comfortable for the everyday rider. Composite CE rated armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows. Notice you're using quick dry material, which is your basic poly. Nice step up in abrasion resistant over top of the mesh. You see that in the elbow and the forearm going all the way down. You also see it's not mesh in the impact areas, mesh on the back side of the arm, mesh in the shoulder blade. Hi, is Brian turned backwards for me? If we look completely mesh across the back of the jacket, and it does look like we have a piece of pro armor here in the jacket as a back protector insert. Remember, G2 back inserts for guys out there. Pro armor, Manus, Wave G2, you can insert that. You you can see how this looks with the back protector in. Now, a couple changes here. They kept your Demon logo across the back, but the changes are gonna be microflexion. Top of the shoulder blades, down here along the back, they're weaving in that protective reflective element, again, in a way that doesn't throw the style, but gives you the ability to be seen. So if you're riding at night, you're gonna hit with a headlight from a car or another bike. Again, that's gonna light up and show people where you are. The other thing to call out to, I'm gonna move your arm really quickly, is that notice here down along the hip, they did give you adjusters. So basic Velcro adjusters like the previous version. Come back around to the front from there, HVV, open it up. So two snaps along the collar, you can see the way that that's done, just basic adjustment. And if Brizzle opens it up, see Bass Brian, I love it. Hopefully you get the reference out there, I'm not too old. What we're gonna see, windbreaker liner on the inside that's fully and easily removable. That allows you to turn the air conditioning off in cooler times, maybe think of an early spring morning or a fall afternoon where the sun is starting to set. But outside of that, your basic mesh sanitized liner, gonna flow a ton of air from front to back, inside to out, or outside to in. And they've integrated now with Stretch, the 270 degree circumferential zipper. So you still have the same ease of connecting to the pant. If anything, now it works a little bit better because it stretches and it moves with you. Up here on the collar, you're gonna notice it's not the outer shell textile, but it's also not a fleece. It's gonna be a basic wicking, comfortable material that ties in with that leather neck roll, again, keeping it comfort. And remember guys too, if you like to ride two up or if your lady's a hardcore rider, there's a fully functioned ladies version if you wanna go all matchy match, which in the past was not the case. In the past, the ladies version was a different design. Now with the new Airframe D1, we have a fully ergonomically fit it's similarly styled and featured ladies version, so keep that in mind. Now, 
all in, step forward, prices come back, more ergonomic. You have a bit of an overhaul of one of the staples in the collection for hot weather riding we saw on 12. We're big fans of the Leap Forward and where they went with this. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device, visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com, read other rider reviews of the new Airframe D1. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship it for over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Set up date with our opinion on the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.